Hello, and thanks for joining this video tutorial. I am Piercarlo Chiodi, and I will show you how to use our route server to quickly generate configuration files for a secure and manners compliant Internet Exchange route server. So, what is our route server? It's a tool, an open source software to build configuration files for Internet Exchange Point route servers. It provides an easy way to define an abstract policy to set the features that are desired by the Internet Exchange operator, like IRR filtering, RPK origin validation, and to define the list of clients with their autonomous system numbers and IP addresses, and eventually to automatically create configuration files for BERT or OpenBGPD. Configurations that are ready to be used in a production environment. Of course, secure configurations based on top of the industry best practices for what concerns internet routing security. Again, IRR-based filtering, RPKI origin validation, AS path sanity checks, but also next stop enforcement, min and max prefix land check, and bogans filterings, and so on and so forth. And not only secure configurations, but also rich configurations with lots of BGP communities ready to be used by the Internet Exchange members to control announcement propagation of their routes, or for example, uh, to implement black calling services or graceful shutdown. All of this is done in a fully automated way. Every time that a route server is executed, it pulls information from several different external sources to come up with an up-to-date configuration that reflects all the bits and pieces that are needed to properly configure the clients. For example, the max prefix limit is pulled from PeerInDB and RPKI rules are automatically updated and same for IRR data. Eventually, the configurations generated by the tool can be used to run a Manners compliant route server. So, Manners, mutually agreed norms for routing security. It's a global initiative that aims to help achieve a more secure and resilient internet ecosystem. There are several programs that provide guidelines for network operator uh, to focus their effort in that direction, depending on the type of network uh, they operate. And one of them is for internet exchanges. And actually it contains lots of good hints and best practices that can help internet exchange points uh, to play a key role in the internet uh, security. So, the Internet Exchange Point program contains some requirements for internet exchanges to be eligible to join the Manners initiative and our route server can definitely help to meet those requirements. Let's see how. In this tutorial, I run two demos. Initially, I show you how easy it is to generate a secure rich and manners compliant configuration for BERT or OpenBGPD without even installing a route server, but just using the Docker image that comes with it. Then in the second part, we'll see how to install the tool and customize it even further. Let's start with the Docker based demo. Here we are not going to install a route server locally. We will just need a running Docker instance. We'll use the R route server Docker image that comes from Docker Hub to build us a route server configuration with all the desired features in place. The application will run within the container where it's already set up with all the needed dependencies already installed. So let me bring up uh, my terminal. First, we need to define the list of route server clients. This can be done by simply creating a YAML file with a specific format. So I have this file already on my laptop here. And uh, yeah, we see that we can specify the autonomous system number of each client and also of course the IP address um, on, the, on the Internet Exchange uh, fabric. This is enough for our route server to figure out all the other relevant information uh, needed to build the configuration. It will use information from PeerInDB to determine the IRR IS set record that will be used to generate the inbound filters. And also it will pull the value of the max prefix limit that each network declares 
uh, to announce. Um, if we already have a list of clients available in the Euro IX JSON format, like the one exported by IXP Manager, um, we can also automatically import that list and convert it into the format used by our server. And of course, the information can not only be automatically retrieved from PeerInDB and other external sources, but they can also be hard-coded in this file. So it's just a matter of editing this YAML file using a specific syntax that is documented on the website and so that we can, for example, set the IRR, IS set or the max prefix slang or whatever uh, we want to configure in the, in the route server. Now, let me show you how to run the Docker image. So, basically, it's a matter of running a Docker command like this one. So, it's just a Docker run uh, command where we are using the R route server image from Docker Hub. And first step is to pass the clients.yaml file that contains the list of clients that we want to configure and to mount it into this specific well-known path that is where our server will look for into the Docker container in order to figure out the list of clients. Then we want to mount a local directory, this one our server configs, into another well-known path uh, relative to the Docker image. This is an, another well-known path that our server will use to output to, to write the output configuration. And in this example, I'm also going to use another uh, directory, the Arrow server HTML local directory, which is optional, but it's a cool feature. It's, it allows Arrow server to build a textual HTML based representation of the configuration of the route server. And again, the file will be uh, generated, generated inside this directory. Next, we have to specify some arguments like the route server autonomous system number, the router ID, and the list of local prefixes, so the IP prefixes used on the peering LAN. And of course, we also have to select the target platform for which we want to build the configuration. So in this case, I am going to use BERT168 and I want the IPv4 configuration. So I will now run the command and we can see what's happening behind the scene. So let me scroll up a bit. Cool. So here, our route server, it's running within the container and it's being configured using the input arguments that we provided to the Docker run command. We will see the bird version being selected, the autonomous system number of the uh, route server, and etc. Eventually, it will produce a message like this that it's used to show the content of the configuration that it's going to generate. So the, this is the output of the default policy that comes with our route server. It's a policy that implements all the industry best practices at the moment uh, to produce a secure configuration and also a configuration where lots of BGP communities are already available to Internet Exchange members. Uh, we see, for example, that IRR-based filters are implemented and we are seeing that RPKI BGP origin validation is enabled and embedded routes are rejected. Of course, this is just the default policy and there is a way to customize it and to configure all the options that are available in our route server. We will see how this can be done uh, later. So now if we scroll down, we see what's happening behind the scenes, some log messages generated by the tool. And eventually we will find the configuration for BERT present inside the Arrow server configs directory. So this is the configuration that the tool just produced. It's pretty big configuration with lots of statements, IRR data and filters and so on and so forth. So, uh, yeah, the other cool feature is the textual representation that our route server generated. So this is the HTML file that it built. It's again, just a textual representation of all the configuration and all the features that are implemented in the route server config file that was just generated. So 
uh, we'll see IRR um, filter information, we'll see RPKI origin validation information, we will see how the max prefix lang is configured, and, and etc. And also a, a list of BGP communities that are available in the road server for uh, Internet Exchange member, members to manipulate their announcement. And that's the first part of the demo. Uh, we, I can now show you, for example, how to uh, implement a custom policy. So, uh, still using the Docker image. Uh, in, the log in the system, in my local uh, laptop, I have a file that is custom-general.yaml. So, this is a file that contains a custom policy that I generated. So again, this is not the default policy for the, uh, the, the default policy that comes from our server, but a policy that I defined using all the configuration knobs uh, that our server uh, allows you to configure. So we can still use the Docker image to pass a custom policy just by running a slightly modified version of the previous comment. So this is the comment that we are going to run. Basically, it's the same comment that we executed earlier, but just with this additional uh, line here. So we are mounting the local custom general YAML file into a well-known path inside the container. In this case, our road server, our road server will use the user-provided configuration uh, instead of the default policy that is built in. So back to the slides. Here, um, in the next demo, I will show you how to install our road server in our local environment and how to customize it to generate uh, configuration for birds or OpenBGPD. So let's move to the terminal again. I will start spinning up a brand new Docker container based on top of a vanilla, a vanilla Ubuntu installation. So first step is to install some packages that are needed for the installation of our road server and also of some other tools. I will install Python 3 uh, headers and pip to fetch and install our road server, but also git and some tools needed to build an external de dependency that is BGP Q4, which is a tool that our road server uses to fetch information from IRR and generate uh, filters. The next step, I will uh, fetch the source code of BGP Q4 and I will install it so that it will be available into the system for our road server to use it. Cool, packages have been installed now. I will start installing BGP Q4. All these steps are documented in the website and it's pretty straightforward to build and install it. Oh, the GPQ4 is also available now on the system. So next, next step, let's move to the ARRA server installation. It's just a pip3 install command. It will fetch ARRA server from the repository and it will install it. Now that our road server is installed, we can set, set it up. It's just a command and it, it's used to build the local uh, directories where our road server will be installed. So some files will be in, created inside that path. One of those files is the server.yaml file. This is where the configuration of the program itself is contained. So there are several options that can be customized, like the path of the general.yaml file, that is the file that contains the policy used to build the route server configuration. And we can customize the path of clients and several other options. One important 
One is the BGP Q3 or BGP Q4 path. So this is the path where the BGP Q4 binary must be present in order for our road server to be able to use it. And also we can customize the host that is used to retrieve uh, IRR data and also the list of uh, sources that we want to use for the IRR uh, data. So what's you, what you are seeing on the screen is the default settings. And now let's move to the last step before we will be able to generate the configuration. So again, it's the Arrow Server Configure command. This is uh, the step where we are going to instruct our road server on which uh, target platform we want to build the configuration for and also uh, it will it's a step where uh, the tool it's a step where the bird the, the, the default bird the default uh, general .yaml configuration file is created so again let's use bird 168 for the example let's set some input values, here it is. So our server now is configured using its default uh, policy. The content of the general configuration file is written into this path and we can customize it as we prefer. So this is basically the default policy that comes with our server. It implements several, if not all, the best practices uh, that are available at the moment for route server configurations. So again, we can customize it as we prefer. There is full documentation of the syntax and the format of this YAML file on the website and with plenty of options that we can tune. Once we are happy with the content of the configuration of the policy uh, YAML, general YAML file, we can just run the comment to build our configuration like this. So our server bird is the command IPv4 output file bird4.conf. And again, our server will generate the full configuration uh, for a production level bird instance. It will take some seconds. this point, the bird4.conf file will be available on our system. And again, this is a fully production level bird configuration that can be used to run a bird instance. Here is the list of our clients and bogons and filters. And that's it. Thanks for watching this video tutorial and you can find some additional information at these URLs here and also the full documentation for our server is available. Thanks for watching.